Destiny 17.1 uh, elevator compliant phone. And we're gonna see how this thing works. So this is if someone has a hearing impair, they can't, you know, they may not be able to see or they're, they're mean. This gives them the option to do text as well. So we'll answer this. This is, you know, an elevator machine room phone, a monitoring phone. So now I'll answer the call. Give that a mute so we don't have reverb. I can go ahead and say, is the elevator stuck? And then now we come over here. You hit yes. And then I get the feedback over here. So we're having a full conversation with this yes, no questions. And of course, you can talk to it uh, on this side if you want to. So you don't have to use text, but if someone might not speak the, the language or they can't hear, this gives them the option to do so. So then do you require medical assistance? And then back over here, you can hit no, and you go through that process. And then what you'll see here, we can do no response. You could actually pick what it was. So I could hit accidental push. And then now that's recorded in the system. What, what kind of stuff does he do? What do you do? What do you do? He has a YouTube channel, so he's trying to get a video. Well, I mean, drunk. Uh, yeah, and then if we go back on this side, he's got four spokes, you know, nuts. You just screw it in. We work with all the, the big elevator uh, fixture companies as well, but we can configure these devices. We can get them, you know, in our lab. So all it is is plug and play. You have your ethernet here, a couple switches to, that you wire up. You can really do it in a couple minutes. We're one of the few that like to actually work end to end with our clients. So instead of putting it on the installer, who might not be as familiar with uh, IP cameras like we have up there. Here, come I'll show you this. So this is uh, Cloud Monitoring, who we partner with. They actually have a booth here as well. And this right here will tell you everything. If the, if the phone goes down, if the battery gets turned on because the power went out and how much battery left it'll have or if that cuts out. So this alerts everything. You never have to worry about, oh, what's, you know, what's the status of the elevator? You have it all right here, all wired. You get notifications. And so what we'll do over here this camera is, uh, we like to put it in the corner. We believe that it's easier to see the entire uh, floor of the elevator to be an inspection. But we could also put a camera right here, do the fisheye lens, we're comfortable with that. So this is, it's the same thing, just another display. Yeah, go ahead. And you could talk to it as, yeah, exactly. I am stuck in the elevator here. So that would come down here, but since we needed the call, just for that reverb. But of course, you could speak to it, speak to it, and then um, there you go. So this is to meet the uh, ADA elevator code ASME A seventeen dot one twenty nineteen. And this is our on-premise server. No one else offers this in the industry yet. So we're ahead of that. And uh, that's, you know, to keep everything in. You can type whatever you want here. So it doesn't have to be those canned messages. You can say whatever you want up here. And there you go. This is interesting. Have you seen anything like this yet? Um, I have on uh, certain recent elevator modernizations and 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 videos as well but never um do i know what it actually meant at that time yeah so <laughs> i w i would be greatly appreciate to know more details of how this thing works yeah so i think mike might be able to speak to that a little bit more i'm sorry what was your question just kind of how it all works together i mean so it is one device uh, tying it all together, but if you're looking more for the technical side, yeah. So thing? it's a we built a custom SIP phone, voice over IP phone, uh, true and true, no, nothing proprietary. Works with any uh, uh, PBX system. Big big companies like Grandstream or Cisco or GenBan. We can integrate with any system, or we have our own system. We have our own two U. PBX with uh, you know eight FXO 
eight FXS ports, high availability. Um, we have an array of hard drives here. So depending on the size of the installation, whether it's like say 100 intercoms or up to 3,000 intercoms, um, we can scale the system. We can support up to 450 simultaneous calls on that server. And then if we did a redundant pair, we can double that. Um, we have a call center application here. So I'll give you a, give you a quick, quick example real quick, right? Okay. So you, you just got the demonstration of this talk and text intercom yep. going to the lobby phone. So what we're going to do here is this, this application here, let's say you just have a bunch of things going on. You get a pop-up, you can click on that pop-up and it'll open this window. You get a little bit of information about the elevator that's calling in, okay? And once you answer, you get your information, you get your video. We're just using a sample internet video. There's your talk and text window. And here's your Google Maps integration of exactly where the elevator is. Now, if you have a customer that's very secu security sensitive, we can uplo upload a static image of this or any, any image that they have. So here's the talk and text. You'll see, You'll see um, when you look at our messaging, right? You see it says, hello, agent name in brackets. It will dynamically put the person's name. You know, we have a lot of um, features like that. Or, you know, we got the ad hoc. I can do that as well. Now, of course, you want to stick with the yes, no questions to keep the conversation because that's how you respond. But it is nice that you could type in your own message as well. And then over here, oh. um, one of the most important things for a bigger organization is knowing the reports. Was no response, medical emergency, someone trapped. We can we have a full reporting system, complete and customized. Um, one thing we were asked from a customer is, they have a requirement that the call center agent must stay on the call until the call is over. So when they select NYPD, it automatically populates the date and time that they arrived. This way, it kind of simplifies their operations. Is that? Yeah, yeah that's it. Thanks for watching. Yep. And that is going to be it. Thanks so much for the explanation. Yeah, of course. No, I appreciate Thanks it. for checking us out. Well, that's it.